Hello. Hello. Hi, Diletta. Hello to, Hi, to everyone. Uh, is, uh, we uh, have uh, Diletta Belotti. Diletta Bellotti, sorry. Is uh, um, so we'll uh, we'll discover a bit. Uh, most of you uh, no, no, know her. Uh, she's quite uh, uh, well known uh, in uh, in uh, for for what you did. Oh, well, so you have thirty thousand uh, Instagram followers apparently. Is... Just because I'm, I'm sharing a lot of memes, I'm a lot of fun, so people follow me. <laughs> Is uh, um, so the Diletta Belotti, we uh, you are uh, uh, a human rights advocate, uh, is uh, you, you have uh, written, uh, you are researching, uh, is uh, we'll talk about uh, your uh, your book in uh, in a moment. Uh, you uh, are uh, known. Uh, at least the bit uh, for uh, for uh, campaigning uh, and start starting this uh, awareness campaign about uh, uh, bloody red uh, tomatoes. That is uh, uh, no, is a campaign uh, to raise awareness about the fact that uh, people, uh, some people, uh, some of the migrants uh, were, uh, are uh, currently uh, exploited uh, by uh, farms uh, to 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 get. Tomatoes that then uh, tomatoes and other vegetables and fruit. I imagine in uh, mm -hmm. go to the supermarket. We as citizens we want to pay very little uh, and uh, we uh, we deny a bit uh, that uh, there is this reality over there. So mm -hmm. um, is it true you are doing that? Why do you do it? True. Yeah. Uh, correctly. Um, um, well, basically, I've, I've, I was in Brussels, actually, uh, when was it, like three years ago, and I was studying for two years, and I focused on human rights and migration. And then I was, you know, it's a bit frustrating to study human rights, because, of course, you go to class every morning, and it's a bit like a, a tough topic on the table. And then you have to deal with it, with that emotionally, but also politically. So you have to be like, okay, what I'm going to do out of it. Um, and for me, it was a really tough question to answer, and I couldn't answer really for two years I was there. And so it was very frustrating, despite I was honestly active in uh, in a couple of movements, basically uh, mostly uh, um, environmental and trans-feminist movement uh, in, in Brussels. But um, I had this, this urge somehow to work on something that was post-colonial, so in other terms, on something that was community-based uh, from where I'm from, Italy. I was born and raised in Rome, but I have um, a part of my family is from Apulia, southeast of Italy. Uh, so I spent a lot of time there and it has a very agricultural-based uh, economy. Mm. So I got interested in the topic of Caporalato, which is a, Caporalato is a gang master system, can be translated as, and is an exploitation system present in agriculture, but also in other fields like um, constructions, for instance. And it is a way that people, uh, is, a, is, a, is a way in which people are exploited and are, meet, like the work, the labor is mediated. So some, the, the Caporali are gang masters, basically, are mediators between the laborer and the um, farm or the employer. Um, so yeah, I had this urge of, of working on something that was post-colonial, that was community-based, and I <clears throat> I started in 2019, so uh, after a one-year analysis of what was needed to do in terms of political communication and political action with my professors of political of political communication, I decided to to launch this um, bloody Re bloody red tomatoes campaign, which is an information awareness campaign, which I started alone basically, but then like a lot of people and a lot of realities joined the campaign, and which is really basically to shed light on the on the problem of, of exploitation in agriculture and the fact that of course like our global systems rely on the cheap and disposable labor force. Of, of workers that are, uh, that are invisible yeah is a uh, is a uh, uh, is interesting. Not that is a uh, is a uh, um, no, is uh, the, the the fact that you use uh, you say that uh, you are you were urged to is uh, no you felt uh, compelled to to do something. We were discussing uh, the, the a bit of this topic yesterday with uh, with Alexander. Where uh, you know is uh, we were talking about Paulo Freire and uh, and the fact that as a pedagogist he was uh, is uh, recalling the same concept uh, that is uh, no is uh, you you have. Uh, 
to do something when you feel uh, that uh, something is uh, is not fair. I remind uh, people uh, we we are live uh, not only on uh, here on Zoom uh, but on Twitter. We are live on LinkedIn. Uh, we are live on uh, Facebook. Uh, uh, yeah, Twitter, YouTube, uh, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, and uh, Zoom. Uh, you will be able uh, to ask uh, uh, questions uh, to Diletta that uh, will uh, uh, will answer uh, uh, them uh, probably towards uh, the end of, uh, of our con conversation uh, so is, uh, le le let me understand uh, is uh, um, a bit uh, a bit more about uh, your uh, uh, is uh, is uh, your m motivation uh, you, you say that uh, okay there is a, a theory part evidently you want to study human rights and uh, and uh, no, so migration uh, i think uh, you, you mentioned migration as well uh, is uh, then what do you do with uh, with these uh, things uh, no, is a uh, theory boring interesting uh, fascinating uh, is a bit uh, of both uh, and then you translate uh, this into some actions is uh, are you satisfied now of, of what you are doing would you are you regretting it uh, is uh, uh does it work oh, does it work i don't know but like uh, we can get a bit more into that but like uh, i'm really satisfied like i think uh it was really important like it, I mean, I'm being really honest about that because I think it's really um, inspiring on on one side to to be honest about like how uh, painful is to witness a lot of human human rights violations and then like feeling unable to do anything. That's how I felt for like a lot of time. I felt like that that's for uh, since I was a child, honestly. But then like I really felt I always felt like I couldn't do anything, so that's why I got into the topic and everything. But then um, it was still not enough, despite I was, you know, in academia, in um, researching the topics. Um, so for me, yeah, I feel super satisfied. Like I feel, I feel, I really found. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not, I'm, I feel like I'm over exaggerating, but I'm not. Like I really found like existential meaning in uh, in fighting up against this this exploitation systems, and in general like, in being active. I found, you know, I found my place in uh, in the world, and I feel like it's uh, of course it's a really like long way to go, but like I feel it's um, it's really meaningful in the end to fight because. Mm. Uh, yeah, because the world is com complex and life is complex, but it is because it, well, it makes to, sense. To have uh, such a statement of, of no, having found your place in the world, uh, is, uh, which is a very rare is, uh, is, uh, no, is, uh, um, mm -hmm. characteristic for, uh, for, for, for many, or at least the directions toward which, uh, or uh, the fact uh, no, is, uh, that, uh, that uh, he, he, you know, of course, you don't regret it, on the contrary. But is, uh, you, why is it that the same sense of injustice doesn't move um, masses and everyone? Why did you have it uh, and others have no. not? Mm, I think, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure, but my analysis is that I think it's really hard to, co to cope with uh, pain uh, related to injustice. And so I think growing up, we, we are really used to the fact of det detaching ourselves from what is, what is unjust and what is painful. Um, so we go on the streets growing up and we see people living on the street, we are you know, this is a very uh, vegan statement I'm making, but like we're uh, like uh, growing up just to, you know, to rest. I think that that resonates easily on people. Um, we uh, grow up loving animals and, you know, being obsessed with like these farm animals and having songs about that and uh, playing with animals all the time, but at the same time we eat them. And so we really detach from like, what is an animal? The thing we love, the, you know, the, yeah. you, the being we love. And then like the fact that like we actually daily most of us eat animals. So that's that's just one of the examples, you know, that mm. can tell us how detached we are from unjust injustice. And um, so and by, I think by nature, people would be better. Is I mean, are you uh, saying that uh, the, the, the system is a bit cynical and therefore uh, we, we, we sort of deny what would be our true nature that uh, would be? I think yeah. yes, I think yes, uh, of course. Um, yeah, of course, that's really like a very philo philosophical statement to make. But I, I think it's uh, for, for my for my side, that's how I feel. And I feel it's really like um, we are. I think we feel differently because because we have so many examples of 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 children feeling very um, feeling sick, actually, from injustice because they witness injustice. And then we are we are. Um, 
we are kind of uh, raised to to not care. We are raised not to care, and we are raised to. But but that's also normal because we're raised to cope with stuff. Like for example, myself, like my practice as an activist, as a researcher, is not that I'm I'm aware on every topic that is in the world that is present in the world. I'm just focusing myself on some topics that I feel mm. I could be. Uh, active on giving my position, giving my privilege, giving a lot of things. Um, but of course, if one has to, you know, deal with the what is called the infobasity, right? Where like this over information, this over information flow of things happening, like tough things happening, everyone would go mm. Mm. Uh, insane, not, so to speak, because it's. You know, so you, 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 need, uh, yeah. you, you need to be trained somehow. I had a friend that was on nice, a social. Uh, in the social services and of course if you are confronted uh, is uh, i don't know every day is on uh, situations that uh, that are uh, not no good you have to find uh, a, a technique to to, to cope yeah. with, with those things and uh, and focusing on uh, not trying to to solve the entire problem but uh, those uh, small actions that uh, that, uh, that, uh, that yeah. they, are, they are meaningful we can ask people in fact uh, the first poll uh, that uh, that we have on whether they they uh, do uh, recognize uh, the, the the value of uh, of uh, activism the uh, and then uh, we'll uh, reflect uh, on uh, their answer uh, in a moment the the uh, so the, the 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 fact is that uh, the, there is a, a, a you no, is a, in a way we are dehumanizing ourselves. Uh, is uh, 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 I mean, uh, where, where are we going to go the, if uh, we follow that? Uh, I mean, if we become more selfish, more cynical, more more uh, shameless. Uh, is uh and uh, we do we have to rely on people like you to save uh, the rest of us you are not on your own i hope no i'm not on my own yeah <laughs> i th i'm um that was really important like that's that was part of the analysis we made at the beginning of the of the campaign so we realized that it was it was easier at the beginning to personalize the the fight i was i was um bringing about but then in the end like I was never really alone but just at the beginning since I was not in any movement and now I'm in um, in a collective of uh, rebel writers we call ourselves but we're writing about the topic and hmm. topics and um, connected you know the interse intersectionality of Caparalato um, so the environmental movement anti-specist uh, movement and all of this um, at the beginning, it, we, we felt it was a bit easier to sell myself as, as one persona, like a one, one um, political being, because since the topic was already very complex, you know, to have a movement that people are always like, who was behind the movement, you know, you already have that with like people, but like at least it's a bit like, but then yeah, I am, yeah, I'm not alone, absolutely. I couldn't do anything alone. I'm like Harry Potter or, you know, Frodo Baggins, I'm like a total mess by myself. <laughs> Is uh, is uh, yeah, it's comforting. Uh, no, is uh, is a uh, no, is uh, finding or discovering uh, that in fact uh, is uh, uh, no, uh, it, it is somehow contagious. Uh, is uh, to to no, to to have a, no, a, a passion and uh, to discover ah well, I'm not on my own to do these things. The so people obviously is uh, they do. Uh, they do think uh, that uh, that uh, activism in society is extremely important, uh, and uh, um, uh, and uh, and in this sense, uh, is uh, you uh, uh, no, is uh, when you say that, uh, that, that you were implied in this, and uh, this is also something that uh, that we are a bit curious about. Uh, you you have brought you do a lot of uh, activism offline is uh, uh, at the same time uh, you you do recognize uh, through your uh, instagram and, uh, and uh, other activities uh, that we have to use uh, the media there is an online activism uh, as well mm -hmm. uh, is um, mm -hmm. how do, do these things go together i mean is online a bit um, much yeah. more important than the other one yeah, there is a big debate going on on this in italy at the moment i don't know maybe in other parts of europe as well i believe um and some people see it, most people actually see it as a very, um, as a contradiction, no? like people or decide to be online or to be offline. And then it's also seeing a bit like old school, new school. So like the old school is offline and the new school is online. But reality is that the offline community 
failed in being online. So in bringing in, in uh, as a matter of fact, to uh, in making more accessible topics because you know the online is first of all accessible um, to people that can't go to protest because of. Uh, physical conditions or because of economic conditions, just to name two. Um, so there is a bit like this, this it, it is really framed as, as a contrast, but in reality, in my opinion, is that it is really important to occupy uh, spaces. So to occupy public spaces as the internet is. And even though the internet really failed us, so this all information age and digital age is, didn't really bring people to to be more informed or to be more aware about stuff just brought people to dehumanize and feel alienated about this information flow i think that's that's my opinion um but um but on the other so i think it's really important that that people activists and and movements really find their place both online and offline because that's that's where people are basically um and on, on one side to make it more accessible on the other side because it's important to be like what a physical space can give you like a digital space cannot give you but also the opposite is true i think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is on, on the online uh, is uh, the the beta is uh, the I, I, I tell you that is a uh, for instance, uh, when uh, we were uh, thinking of uh, having uh, these uh, these uh, conversations uh, with uh, some uh, YouTubers, uh, is uh, some of these. Um, I mean, it, it could be legitimate, eh? is uh, but uh, certain people do ask for a fee. For instance, uh, is uh, no is uh, these uh, big influencers uh, that have. Uh, a million of uh, followers uh, is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, which is, uh, uh, they are uh, influencers, they are YouTubers, uh, is about, but it's different from being an activist, is it? Yeah, that, that's also like a big debate in Israel at the moment. And I think it's interesting as well to, uh, I don't really have um, the size opinion on that. Like I don't have a the size position on that. Uh, but um, I think it's, uh, for me personally, I have I have a job full time job on so I'm a researcher and I use my spare time basically to do awareness campaigns and uh, activism in general. But uh, some people don't have this option of you know doing two different jobs basically because activism is a job. Um, of course, like being independent is really important. So that's a bit like that's a bit the bias of being an influencer because an influencer mm -hmm. I think technically can be described as a person that. Um, monetize makes money out of uh, out mm. of uh, it's in the uh, system isn't it why an activist is yeah. a bit the counter power yeah under the system yeah exactly so i think it's a difference between like being exactly in the system and being against the system or in in a very sharp dialogue with uh, dialogue with uh, uh, the the system which i think i am in the moment at the moment but uh, i think uh, so I think yeah, it's pretty different for me personally. Like I'm really radical on that. Like I'm really trying to. Uh, I'm, it's, I, ne I think I never accepted any type of like collaboration with brands and everything because um, I'm really anti-capitalistic. So I really want a big change for the society that is goes in a completely different direction. So for me, it would be like a um, for not prostitution. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, a conflict of interest indeed. And then uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I would be really se be selling like my. Um, the, the thing I think what people don't understand is that when you are a lot of, um, for instance, a lot of some influencer activists and some uh, people, for instance, like I would say, like singers would do that, right? Mm -hmm. um, that they they give themselves to brands, to big brands, big corporations, because they think they give them a voice, you know, right? Like, so mm -hmm. I'm making a collab with uh, Nike or, for instance, Gali made a collab with Benetton, right? Gali is one of the most important singers, rappers in Italy. Mm -hmm. um, brands that we know have a lot of, like, a huge societal and uh, environmental impact. And then they think that they're, these brands are giving them space, but in reality, it is the opposite. They're selling their cause, they're selling their identity as a ra racialized person, for instance, as Gali, or as a, as a feminist or whatever that is to them, mm -hmm. because they're using that, they're making money out of that. So I think that's really, you know, what's, the, it's really hard to, you know, um, yeah, to, ever, to, to ever, make a clear distinction. Yeah. It's, uh, but it's that a big... happens all the time.
Uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, 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 yes, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, on the other end, there are, there will be, a, I mentioned, a good argument also to defend, you know, it's the fact that if you want to have an impact, you have to, to look for allies rather than, uh, than uh, enemies, so it's, uh, but, uh, it's a complex uh, issue to be debated. I show you, and I appreciate that when uh, you, you, you mentioned a couple of uh, times uh, that you are quite uh, radical, uh, is uh, in uh, your book is in fact called uh, the rebel uh, toolkit uh, and uh, uh, is in italian only i think uh, for the moment uh, is it yeah it's gonna be translated i think in spanish soon and then maybe english yeah is uh, is great i've read it uh, it's really inspirational uh, is uh, i uh, the only thing that i would do differently is uh, is the title i, I mentioned it to you but uh, the the, the, tell us a bit uh, 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 what is inside. Uh, is, uh, you have written in, in a very nice form and is uh, is uh, easy to read, but it makes a very very good uh, points. Very it's very mindful. It's, it seems mm -hmm. that you are a layer uh, above. Uh, uh, after the, the obvious things, uh, is uh, you have been able to to write in a simple uh, way is mm -hmm. uh, concepts uh, that are uh, mm -hmm. uh, and values about uh, about uh, these uh, these uh, rights and values. Uh, uh, what is it inside? I mean, if you would ever mm -hmm. to, to to summarize it in a very very mm -hmm. short, uh, what could mm -hmm. people find there? Uh, for, first of all, thanks a lot. I'm super self-critical about the book and myself, so I'm, like, <laughs> I'm always shocking when people uh, appreciated it. Uh, I'm also not super fond of the of the name, but like the the Rebel Toolkit is um is a uh, an instrument that uh, Extinction Extinction Rebellion, so it's an environmental movement, climate justice movement, has for new activists that joins the movement. And we wanted to translate it, but in the, in the end, like I was just writing and thinking about other things. Um, and the idea of the book, uh, in the end, it is. Uh, thought for people in uh, secondary school, middle school, uh, so 11, 12, 13 year old um, uh, children, kids, young adults, I don't know. Ragazzini. Yeah, ragazzini, and, and, um, and then it is a sort of guide, but it's, it's thought as a draft of, of tools that are useful for someone to become a rebel. Uh, so what does, does it mean, of course, um, you know, some stuff are very practical, for example, how to organize and how to join movements, but it's a bit more, it's, it's, a, it's a bit more of a, of an intimate sort of search for, for how to become a rebel and what we have of a rebel inside of us already and what we have to work on. So for instance, the tools of, of the rebel would be something like uh, fear and, um, and speaking up, being humble, um, hope. So how to, uh grow hope do you say that i don't know mm -hmm. like how to uh, give time and space to hope in the sense of mm -hmm. listening to stories of other rebels in history As that aspiration, have aspiration i would say because our hope yeah. sometimes has a connotation that is uh is uh but uh to Just aspire like, yeah. rather than to be ambitious which is different uh, to something True. Is uh, yeah, it's, it's more than that, uh, or as well as this. Is uh, I, I found it uh, that is uh, really when, when you say intimate, uh, is uh, is uh, you are right. Uh, is uh, no, is uh, how to 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 free yourself, how to discover yourself, how to yeah. uh, is uh, and uh, and not just how in uh, in the sense of uh, the these are the, the the recipe, but uh, but uh, it makes you reflect. Uh, in uh, and uh, you bring a lot of your own experience uh, no? is uh, oh, oh, mm -hmm. is, yeah. uh, is is really 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 great uh, and uh, yeah the, this capacity of observing yourself uh, taking care of you and others uh, no? is uh, mm -hmm. is uh, yeah. I want to make it yeah, no, exactly the reason also like a one chapter on care and uh, caring for yourself and caring for others because that's really connected to being an activist unfortunately it's super common that activists have burnouts because they it's really as i was saying before it's really frustrating and it's really painful to deal with this whole social injustice and climate injustice and blah 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 and um and so the, the first thing itself is, is is care and like mental health uh uh, which which is i think is very revolutionary to do that as well because that's also an anti-capitalistic practice because you care for yourself so you're not thinking of yourself as an efficient human being an efficient worker or something like that but you're you take you give your time to uh, making the others to inspire the others in being free that's what a rebel is 
like in my analysis. Is yeah. uh, yeah, to 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 be is uh, yeah, is uh, the. I mean, it's uh, the, um, not, not necessarily in conflict with, uh, although is, uh, I understand your point of view, is uh, just uh, to reflect uh, upon, upon this, uh, the, the, this point, is uh, the, um, uh, is obviously, is, uh, is, uh, I don't know, is a kind of anti-system, and, but much more in line with, is kind of realistic, uh, no? is uh, we are not as bad as uh, the, 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 the TV or uh, media are depicting us. Uh, on the contrary, we are uh, nice. We want to help each other, and uh, and uh, is uh, is good to find uh, no is uh, is uh, people or examples or uh, other that uh, that think the same way because uh, you know it's uh, it's something that there are a lot of people that never become themselves uh, in, in uh, yeah. and uh, so. Uh, the sooner it happens, uh, the, 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 the better, probably. The, yeah. um, uh, the, and, and there is, a, uh, on this aspect of, of uh, participating, no? the activist uh, kind of participate to public life, uh, which is uh, uh, no, because of, as you say, moved by this sense of injustice. Uh, and uh, the uh, which is uh, by the way one of the of the three component of media litera the, the first one is uh, is uh, technical capacities to use the media well and then uh, you have to be critical uh, uh, cognitive uh, competencies uh, not to, to to take this etc but then when uh, you are good in using the media you should tr- use them uh, to participate to public uh, uh, life and uh, in fact mm-hmm. for what we have said uh, to participate to your own life as well and uh, the, this is uh, this is something that uh, that uh, is very very often quite only rhetorical and uh, now we talk about uh, digital citizenship and active uh, citizenship and so forth but uh, is uh, i would say you give this impression and, and the book as well that is uh, there is a kind of consciousness uh, that is uh, the, the basis, the pillar, the platform uh, from which you can then uh, move uh, your actions. Uh, is it like that? Uh, I mean, do you need uh, good values first uh, before doing That's, any action? Yeah. I mean, you can be an activist on bad causes. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, but I think uh, they're better than nothing still, but uh, I think it's... Um, yeah, the value thing I'm really interested into because I, I I was I was discussing and also thinking overthinking about that a lot in the past weeks. Uh, I'm really interested in understanding why people are moved uh, before having a morality, so to speak, or yeah. Um, so I'm really interested to know why people feel a sort of injustice before, you know, being educated on certain values or something. So for instance, example, like, um, when was it like last week I was in Bologna in Italy having a sort of conference on anarchy in, um, in, uh, in, yeah, in Bologna university basically. Uh, and I was really interested into understanding and reading with them about all these rebels, all these anarchists, and when they were younger than 20 year old, 20 years old, they would, you know, try to attempt the life of dictators of, of royal families and all of this. Uh, for ins- instance, you know, this uh, Antel Zamboni when he was 15 year old, uh, attempting to kill uh, Benito Mussolini. Mm, and then losing your life in in doing that and then you know when you're 15 yeah of course you have values and of course you can be radicalized but it's i think you do that if you have a very strong uh pre ideological ideological uh sort of identity you know mm. um that's really interesting i don't understand that but i think it's uh it's very fascinating to know that people feel stuff before knowing stuff and then of course it's really important to to stick with what you, what you feel that's also something that is really present in the book you know when you're you're growing up and then you feel a, a sort of injustice then people tell you okay yeah just you know ignore it just you know but do, do you um, think that it's easier to be a, a rebel somehow if you are young well i think someone said i don't remember who i'm really bad at quoting people because i have a bad memory but uh someone said that being a rebel is actually being consistent with the promises you made when you were younger so I think that's really connected, no? Um, mm. um, <clears throat> so of it course, takes, I think it takes time we, to become young. 
Yeah, yeah, it takes time to become young, true. Yeah. Um, I think we do, maybe people feel stuck. That, that's what, like, you know, that's an argument is very, is used a lot also to debunk, um, to debunk activists because they're young. Yeah, of course, you feel angry because you're young. Of course, you feel like that because you're young. Uh, but I think that's, that's not true, really. I think people, it is true that people have more time like for instance as a student uh you have more time to read you have more time to be active to go on the streets to do stuff but that's also you know fucking amazing and that's a real big privilege that people should you know public education is also amazing for that because people have the chance to you know uh explore mentally what they want to do um uh, and then after you get in your uh, nine to six or nine to five, whatever job, and it's harder to, you know, be act active. I feel that myself as well now. Mm. <clears throat> Not giving up though. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but it's harder and I understand that, of course, you know. Yes, understand that. And, and it's easier to, to, to resign as a mouth, to moderate uh, is, uh, your, your, your thoughts. And uh, also because uh, you are surrounded uh, by people uh, that are uh, alike and, uh, and uh, they, they sort of, uh, no, it's, uh, who was saying, uh, eventually everybody finds a job, uh, stay there and uh, has uh, two, two, two kids and, uh, and uh, that's it. Uh, is um the the but, but i'm sure that you do encounter as well uh, people uh, yeah the, the, obviously there is more energy when when you are young uh, is a uh, time it depends uh, but is uh is uh for instance uh, people uh, is uh, it applies uh, to what we do at the avi it is important to be in contact with uh, with uh, young people uh, because uh, they give uh, no it's uh, the, yeah. the energy but as well as this uh, not because uh, is that uh, they, 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 they are young. Uh, is, uh, they, this is something that I notice, particularly in Italy and, and uh, maybe in, in the southern uh, countries, um, but in uh, everywhere else, uh, when uh, you are uh, 26, uh, you are not young anymore. Come on. Is, uh, is, uh, yeah. you, well, I don't feel young, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean you, you are young, uh, is, uh, but, but is, uh, you are not 18, uh, is yeah, or no, you are not 16. Uh, is uh, and the uh, great people have done uh, great things. I think Einstein uh, came uh, to his uh, his, uh, his uh, theories when he was twenty four, and uh, I mean, uh, history is full of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just you know trying to stay alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. And uh, the the. Uh, talking about morality and uh, and ethics, uh, is uh, you made uh, a, a statement uh, in a video that uh, that I watched in an event uh, in a panel uh, in which uh, uh, you were questioning about the the, 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 the morality of our uh, Western uh, democracies. No, is uh, and it was not well taken, isn't it? Other people were there, the president of uh, Emilia Romagna and the director of Nine News. And uh, what, what happened? It was really interesting, actually, because I, I went, I, I was invited with um, at, at this Agora, this panel by um, one, one of the most, I think, important and one of the best for me, uh, publishing houses in Italy, La Terza. And uh, the, the panel was also Colin Crouch was there, uh, Professor Colin Crouch and Professor Simona Colarizzi. Uh, and we were discussing about the relation with, be, between uh, um, social movements, movements in general and uh, political parties and so why they don't get along. So I was invited, of course, to kind of you know, represent or just discuss the fact that how movements feel about political parties and why often movements want, uh, don't want to be included or um, yeah, included in political parties, uh, englobed in political parties. And, um, and you know, like I, I noticed that uh, despite from the professors, the other two elements in the room were very, uh, were very patronizing discussing movements uh, um, that, for instance, they, they discussed about uh, uh, Greta Thunberg uh, and they were uh, having a very, I think, patronizing type of language and it was very subtle of course but i could i could feel it and i could recognize it because i'm really used to it of course and then on the other side the president of um <clears throat> emilia romagna region in italy was uh was discussing about the Zan, which was a law for lgbtq plus and against uh, and violence against disabled people in italy uh, and it was very and was very you know simple about it it was very uh superficial I have to say about it and of course I was really angry because like um, uh, you know we have few chances in which we can uh, have conversations and then a moment in which we have a 
intergenerational conversation, I, I perceive this type of language, this type of uh, attitude, and I really, I was a bit angry. So that's just to <clears throat> to anticipate what I'm, I'm going to say now. And then at one moment, I was just, you know, uh, making them notice the fact that they were having this type of language. So referring to Greta Thunberg just by her name, Greta, and then referring to her as a ragazzina, uh, a kid, basically, and also referring to her height, that's saying like she was, she's very short, blah, blah, blah. Um, so a lot of things that were a bit, you know, uh, I, I, yeah, I was feeling a bit awkward about it. I was feeling a bit, uh, it was a bit violent as well. And then I was just discussing something. And as you said, I was, um, I was questioning that. I was saying that for me, the neoliberal democracies don't really have moral value. Um, and I said that because I wanted to bring bring in the panel the fact that we need to bring com to build communities that are very value relate value oriented so, somehow because the societies we live in now are not because they are based on the exploitation of resources and people as a matter of fact and um and they reacted very violently they were shouting at me they were very um paternalistic and um but it was very very interesting i think you watched it i think it was interesting because it was this reaction in which i, w I was not expecting like i thought i was in a safe place i was just you know invited as as an adult i was invited as a guest to talk there but then i was not invited there as a guest i was invited as an enemy you know as someone that had to listen to older mm. generations and everything mm. um and it then was, i said something that, yeah please is uh is uh i, I, I let you uh, carry out but i just wanted to, to to tell you which was my impression because it's uh yeah. is uh i know uh, it's uh, you say that you 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 felt that it was a bit uh no is that uh, but i i felt it too is a uh, this this sense of injustice uh, that uh, you were referring to before is uh, uh watching the video because it's uh, uh i mean you can question on whether they they were uh, maybe some people don't have the privilege to be able to understand is a uh, certain things uh, they, they don't do it in no. bad faith uh, but is uh, is uh, the, the 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 fact and the matter remains uh, that attacking uh, even violently yeah, and uh, verbally is uh, is uh, i mean is is not something that uh, Mm, I mean, in Italy, it's, it's quite. It's, uh, you have all these TV debates uh, that uh, that are really a circus, uh, but uh, yeah. but uh, still, uh, no. You would inquire whether they would do it with a colleague, uh, with uh, somebody that would have been older, and uh, and uh, while uh, your yeah. argumentations were very. Uh, uh, now, fact basis, and uh, of course, is a uh, democracy is uh, losing authoritativeness because of the apathy of people of uh, participation exploitation of other uh, uh, in other countries resources a part of the world i mean the, the, this is a fact uh, is uh, at least uh, you should debate it uh, and uh, so yeah exactly no please is uh, is uh, how how did you did you feel how did it end up uh, is uh, what uh, what what did you uh, I appreciate that you say that there is something always uh, good to, to be learned uh, uh, from it. Have, have they learned anything out of it? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think what I've, I've learned is how easy it is to trigger some people on topics that for some of us are so obvious. You know, as I was saying, two weeks later, I was again in Bologna, so next to the place I was, like half an hour from the place I was when this happened, this panel happened. And I was in front of all the students, most of them were my age, and I said the same sentence just to see their reaction. And then they were like clapping and being like, yeah, <laughs> like, you know, like, so I think it's interesting to understand that just to be self-critical again, I think it's really important to understand that somehow stuff that are very obvious to us, like for me, is obvious that neoliberal democracies, Western democracies, don't have moral value or not based on moral values, and we have to, you know, change that because, of course, they were attacking me on the fact that they thought I said democracies as a, you know, as a theory don't have value, which I would never say that because otherwise I would not do what I do with my life, of course. But then I was just questioning like the the present state of our democracies, and that I was really I was really attacked on that. That's really a a sign of of. Number one, uh, how poor is the conversation and how poor is the um, is the um, listening by some some people of older generations. Um, Which and should on the be other a virtue. Is yeah. uh, is uh, no, is, I mean, it should be an essential virtue of of uh, people that are in politics uh, and uh, no, is or that uh, they don't listen. Yeah. 
No, of course they don't listen. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they don't listen. They instrumentalize you to to say what they want to say. So like I was I was I was used for them to say that they were democratic and I was not democratic while they were not listening to me, which was not very democratic. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's uh, I mean, you can laugh about it, but, it, but it's a bit of, uh, I mean, it's a, uh, the 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 is a misery the, this kind of of level of of uh, debates uh, is uh, really me is uh, years i don't watch uh, italian tv because you you cannot uh, is uh, i mean is uh, is um, really a show in which uh, anyone that uh, talks uh, louder uh, is uh, is the winner somehow there is no debate yeah, is uh i mean they are just uh shouting louder and louder yeah yes. yeah yeah well toxic masculinity a lot as well i think so that was the mm -hmm. case but uh i think it's really it's really sad because we what i was mentioning as well it was like it's really important to bridge uh, between generations i'm doing this a lot with with fellow activists from different generations and uh, mm. But I think in the end, people in power are people that compromise with power to be in power. So it's really hard to talk to them. Mm. Um, mm. And that's a bit sad, of course, because they represent us. Uh, they, you know, they are poor well, we, we, we allow them uh, to represent us. Uh, is, uh, yeah. So that there is part of, that, uh, of it that, uh, that is also our uh, uh, responsibility uh, as well. Yeah, I, I have to thank you also because uh, the um the, the very end of of your uh, of your book uh, is uh, um you have uh, put uh, as an annex uh, somehow the speech of uh, that uh, charlie chaplin did uh, in uh, in the great dictator and i have used it uh, is uh, the, the other day i was uh, participating in a conference in in morocco and uh, no, is uh, is a very nice uh, uh, very nice uh, i mean remotely eh, is uh, from here but it's, uh, it's a very nice uh, uh, reminder of, uh, of uh, no, it's, uh, I don't want to be a dictator, it's, uh, it's, uh, for, for people, uh, it's, uh, they really should uh, watch it uh, again and again to be anchor uh, to common sense, uh, good values, uh, human rights. Uh, uh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. And I think, you know, what I put it at the end of the book, because I think I was really inspired by that the first time I heard it. And I think it's always like, I think that's also Charlie Chaplin's voice, of course, that is really like, you hear it and you're you're shocked for a moment because he's a, he's a great um, speaker, of course. But uh, I think in The Great Dictator, there's this last, I think it's the, at the end of the movie, the speech. Um, I think it's really interesting, this, this kind of cyclical and recurring uh, uh, talks we have on on justice and human rights uh because you read that and it's the the when was the movie out like 80 years ago right yeah um yeah, yeah. 80 years ago and then you read it today and it's still it's still um it's still you find these sense. people uh, is uh, that uh, that are exactly like uh, hitler was or or, or uh, mussolini you mentioned it before and that are very narcissists yeah. they, they love themselves uh, and uh, they are, uh, is, uh, is, uh, they are, they are quite, uh, no, is, uh, there are many of, of them uh, around the globe. And yeah. uh, they have, uh, or in Italy, Berlusconi, if you want, is, uh, they have a uh, very common characteristic. Uh, they, uh, they are very narcissist uh, yeah. and uh, they, uh, I mean, uh, the Donald, uh, uh, I mean, Trump, uh, no? a US president that attacks his own parliament is, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. These people should, should be in hospitals. Yeah, 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 yeah. They should be hospitalized. That's so true. Like, I think it's. Uh, but the problem is that, like, why do our democracies allow this to happen? That's so crazy. That's what I was saying. Like, that's so crazy. But that's crazy that also, you know, uh, people with lower position than presidents and prime ministers have this type mm. of attitude. That so, of course, that's really sick. But I think that's also changing, honestly. And I think we are having a very. Uh, feminist uh, feminist movements are going bigger and i think you know people of different genders are really like understanding and deconstructing what is like you know toxic masculinity and what it's like to speak like that and we're learning that that a lot and we, this this mm. is going to change everything because you know mm. people as you said like people that did shit in the world are people that had a lot of things in common and um and we're deconstructing that we're trying that for not to happen again um, 
So we are in a process, but, but you are positive uh, about uh, that will change for the better. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I'm really positive, of course. I have to be positive, mm. otherwise. Mm. <laughs> otherwise, I have, uh, I have a number of questions that I better put uh, to you, otherwise yeah. uh, we, we run out of time. Is yeah. uh, uh, somebody from LinkedIn uh, is asking, most uh, young people uh, uh, don't feel represented by political parties, especially in Italy, yeah. must be an Italian person here. Could activists be an alternative uh, to this frustration, uh, especially when it comes to politics? Uh, yeah, I think not really activists, but I think activists representing movements. I think the the, the type of the type of uh, mo mo mobilizing mobilizing structures we're looking for is movements, so uh, social movements, political social political movements, and structures in the society within the society that are active and that are real, but that are community based really. And I think mm -hmm. politics is really the test right now. But of course, I mean people that have the energy and the guts also. Uh, what what do you mean uh, by by movements and the community base? I mean, like, uh, well, that's really like complex. I can't, I can't say that. But a uh, movement in the sense of um, of social groups uh, is uh, is uh, groups, not yeah. not Organizing just individuals. Uh, okay. No, yeah, not just individuals. I think our so society is individualistic enough, so we really need to mm, get mm, more into mm. movements and everything. But also, I like, really like to, you know, to delegate, to listen to others, to mm. uh, to find a compromise. That's really like a good exercise. Um, and I think, I think, yeah, of course, we're not being represented at the moment, but I think this will eventually change. But some people have to compromise. So that's really like the complex part. I really haven't. I would never mm. do that, for instance. I would never at the moment, of course, I mean, I'm going to change my mind, but I doubt it. Uh, I would never get into the politics because, of course, I don't want to compromise with, you know, mm. this type mm. of people. But of course, someone has to do it because otherwise people that want compromise want to get into politics and then people that want com will compromise yeah, that, with that's power. the whole story no is uh, you have to be yeah. implicated otherwise somebody else is uh, representing yeah. your interest and uh, you have to fight but 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 uh, is uh, i mean uh, you don't have to feel all this responsibility on your shoulder necessarily because it's uh, not only then uh, you are badly represented but it's even your fault and mm -hmm. uh, come on somebody from facebook uh, is uh, uh, asking uh, do you consider activists as rebels uh, i feel most of the time the word rebel is associated with anti-systemic feelings uh, is it that so yeah i don't know like i think i think activists might might be a bit softer than uh, you know you can be an activist a campaigner so you can activist as a term i think is a bit more intended as someone that actually dialogues with the uh, with the um, with the institutions, I would say, with the society, but then and then rebels is a bit like more radical rebels maybe, but someone that is not like really necessarily anti-systemic, that is not really anti-society and everything, but that is more critical about it and is more has as less um, has less sp space to make a compromise. Mm. But the, the majority of our students and people and uh, I mean, uh, young people in the in the in the positive connotation uh, is uh, yeah. they are like that, aren't they? I mean, uh, is uh, if uh, these new people for the new world uh, are quite good, uh, not this generation. I mean, yeah. it's a bit banal uh, to say yeah. it in that way because it's a idiots uh, is a transversal uh, category, but uh, is uh, generally uh, you, you have. Yeah, my feeling is that, yeah, I think it's, uh, I think our generation is really like, uh, especially the, the generation after me, I think this is changing a lot. And I think rebels are, in the end, like rebels and movements really push everything. That's something I was also saying in the, in the, in the panel we, we mentioned. I think rebels really have the, the energy of everything that is happening in the world sometimes you know they have stuff bringing uh they are brought up in parliaments and uh and in uh, ministries and everything and and they are like just you know signing and changing and doing this and doing that but that happened because people were mo um mobilizing mm -hmm. so that's also something really to witness but we're not educated to listen to rebels we're not educated to read history books on people that resisted on people that died and people that were oppressed we mm -hmm. In books, we normally like study the the history of oppressors. Yeah, yeah, and we should the winners. Do the opposite. Yeah, is uh, is uh, so is uh, the educational system has uh, to 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 adapt uh, in uh, in uh, necessarily and uh, 
um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know whether it's uh, if uh, the, the, the bottom, uh, I then pass it to another question, uh, but it's, uh, as uh, I don't know anymore whether to feel uh, no optimist or, 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 or pessimistic, uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it's on one end uh, is uh, the, 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 the challenge is, uh, it seems uh, quite, uh, quite a big one. Uh, is uh, I, I don't know I, I would like to to hear that there are uh, many more like you and uh, there, are. There, are. there are okay that's uh, then I pass it to the next question uh, with, with a smile uh, is uh, um, uh, somebody quickly in the brand uh, um, asking uh, in what way have online tools given a new touch uh, to activism uh, what would you say? Have they made the true activism easier or are they just more slacktivists? Yeah, uh, both, I think. I think. Of course, like that, that's something I wanted to mention before and I forgot when we were, you know, discussing the difference between being an influencer, the activist and an ac activist militant more of thing yeah um i think it really depends what you want because some people they want their own empowerment their own emancipation uh and they don't really see the intersectionality of, of fights you know kind of just as an example you know uh but in, of course like if people are fighting for like neoliberal a neoliberal world that's we're not doing the same thing that's it you know so that's that's also really a point because sometimes it's like it's confused. Huh? It's not that like all activists, even though like they touch same issues and they discuss same issue, like very similar issues, like, you know, mm. women emancipation, they don't really discuss the same thing sometimes because they have a very different moral uh, standpoint, as a matter yeah. of fact. Yeah. So um, I think, yes, activism is a thing. But on the other side, I think all movements had a very big chunk of of hmm. homologation hmm. and hmm. people just you know following movements because it was cool and because everyone was doing that that's that's the history of it yeah. so it, one has to accept the fact that people are just doing stuff because everyone is doing that and that's fine at least they're doing something cool uh, hmm. or interesting um and we can't really expect everyone to be like informed and aware all the time we were we want to push for that but in order to push for that we need to have more accessible and more accessible public education and in, in general like educational institutions and reality like this one we're talking mm. at the so can, now, can right? online uh, online uh, is uh, media help in that respect that is i think was the core of the question social media can can help <clears throat> yeah i think it can but i think we need a lot of the education on that because i think it's all it's also can do the opposite but in general i think it can yeah Mm. But also physical spaces are really important. So physical space, like so in big cities in in, mm. in Europe, we're we're losing a lot of public spaces, and that's, that's mm. because of so the, the this is uh, the other uh, point. Uh, not to have uh, the, the, the the availability of of uh, spaces uh, online or offline uh, where people uh, can uh, can uh, no, so uh, gather together and uh, the the and, and uh, to discuss because it's debate uh, no it's the debate uh, in itself uh, uh, is uh, that yeah. is uh, the basis no democracy is about uh, discussing uh, about uh, about democracy no it's the fight to democracy is yeah, uh, is uh, um, the we have got to the end uh, the letter. Um, before mm, uh, before I, I leave you the floor for uh, one more minute so that uh, that you can uh, uh, conclude uh, with uh, what uh, what would you like to see happening? Uh, is uh, no? Is uh, I mean? Is uh, you are quite uh, is uh, in the you are pragmatic. Uh, you are informed. Uh, you know this uh, the, the the best of these uh, two wars online and offline as well uh, you are uh, no is uh, i was uh, watching uh, some uh, videos of other activists uh, no is uh, from senegal and so is uh, that are very brave courageous and articulate uh, in a way is uh, is and uh, this is great uh, but the fact uh, is uh, that uh, you can also be a link uh, to to move uh, these uh, voices uh, to be heard in other uh, spaces as well so is you seem to have a lot of uh, skills uh, 
to bring uh, is uh, or to raise uh, the awareness further on uh, on in, in a in impactful uh, no uh, way no we need the impact uh, somehow is uh, so if you make uh, some considerations uh, about this uh, while uh, I thanks uh, is obviously uh, you uh, thank you thank you thank you thank you is uh, the, uh, the the What's people it? of a Havi here is uh, some uh, that are uh, um, behind the screen and are uh, the, the the most important really Giovanna and Soti and uh, Dimitra, Laura, Ioannis, uh, they all, uh, uh, I mean, uh, they are really great. They are all young, uh, but I mean, it must not be a, a coincidence. Is uh, I tomorrow we will uh, we will uh, talk uh, uh, because you are an extra. You are on a Wednesday. Usually we are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, Thursdays mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, Christy Drutman from uh, the USA. That uh, she is also an activist on climate change, uh, and uh, mm -hmm. also at six o'clock. Uh, so we will uh, we will talk uh, uh, to her. So. Um, Diletta, what would you say? Is, uh, is uh, somebody was uh, saying that is, uh, imagine that you say something as it is the last words on earth. Is what, what is the, <laughs> the most important thing that, uh, that you would like to, I mean, do you feel the pressure? Mm, yeah, a lot of pressure actually. <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, act now. <laughs> That's all thank the only thing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. So thank you so much for the time and space. Thank you, Diletta. It was really a pleasure. Also true. Bye bye. Ciao. Thank you, Timothy. Bye. We have uh, yeah all the handles here of uh, Diletta Belotti. If you want to uh, to connect with her, and uh, uh, we'll uh, leave them on uh, for uh, one more minute. Thanks uh, to everyone.